hi this is farjana in today's video i will show you all about dv form so here i will show you how you can take different kind of form field how we can customize our form field how we can make our form we do 100 percent or 50 percent and how we can set any conditional field with any field like here if we select web design we can see web design related item and when you select graphics design we can see graphic design related item and also i will show you how you can style our form field form button how we can change our form button text how you can set this kind of capture and how we can set our best email address with this form our own custom success message and so on so now let's get started okay so here i will take a contact form in this contact page so first i'm going to visual builder and here i'm taking a new section i'm taking a regular section and here i'm taking a full column row then here i'm typing form here is contact form okay so by default we are getting this three field name email and message field and here is our submit button here is our capture so it will help us to filter spamming and here now i'm adding some new field i'm removing this message field here is name, email, and here I'm taking a new field. Here we can take phone and field options. So from here we can select our input field type. Here is several kind of input field type. We can take text field type, email field type, text area, checkbox, radio box, and drop down field so for the phone here is no number field so i'm taking input field and here we can see here is letters only numbers only and alphanumeric so here will be some alphabetic and some numbers so here i'm selecting numbers only it will work for phone number and here we can also set conditions minimum length maximum length we can set minimum or maximum number of digits and here is required field we can set this field mandatory or not if we select not required that case people can skip this field and submit it i'm just making it required and here is much more option i will show you this field in later and here is design tab we can make this field full width or 50 percent width like name email just click on this layout and make full width we can make it off and it will be 50 percent width and here is field options we can also customize our form field text color here is background color we can change background color i'm making it to default and field text color we can change field text color to black or any other color and field focus background color so when we just keep our cursor into a field that time this background color will appear and field focus text color so when i will keep my cursor into a field that time this text color will appear and next here is field font so we can set any font family for this form field and just like other modules we can set our font style font alignment text size letter spacing line height and so on and here we can find also other styling options 
like text alignment, sizing, spacing, border. We can add input border. We can make any border and we can also set any color. I'm making it to default. So for this time, I'm just showing you basic features of this form field. And I'm saving it. Next, I'm taking another field. Here, we can take Skype and field options. We can set here input field and here is alert number. We can set this third one for Skype because sometimes we set alphabetic and numbers and we can make it 50% width. Yes, and now I will add a new field for our services. So here I'm selecting a drop down field. So I'm typing the form field title, select service and field options. Here field type will be select drop down and here we can set our drop down options. So here I'm typing web design and another will be graphics design. And required, okay, I'm saving it. And now here I will add some field which will be conditional with this drop down item. Let's see how it works. So here I will set another drop down for graphics design. So when someone select service as graphics design, that case this field will appear here. I'm selecting the drop down and options logo design and banner design okay and we can make it optional and here is conditional logic so i'm enabling this conditional logic and here will be rules it will depend on our select service and when it will equal to graphics design so when someone select graphics design our graphics design field will appear and save it and another field will link to our web design so i'm making another field i'm making this field type drop down and selecting type new website e-commerce website and redesign website conditional logic enabled and i'm selecting select service and it will link to our web design options and i'm going to save it and here in the bottom area we can see here is title we can set form title i'm not using this title for this time and here is success message so when someone fill this form this success message will appear so we can type any custom message or by default here will be a default message i'm typing a custom message Thank you for submitting. We'll contact you in next 24 hours. Okay. And submit button text. We can change the submit to send or any others. By default, this is submit and email. Here we can put any our custom email. So when people fill this form, all this data will redirect 
to this certain email address by default it will redirect to the admin email address of this WordPress website so you can put here your best email address or by default it will redirect to our admin email and here is element here is show capture we can keep it off or we can keep it here redirect here we can enable any redirect URL so when someone fill this form they will redirect to a certain URL or certain page and here is much more option we can link this form normally I don't use these options and background we can set form background options and now I'm just going to button and I'm changing this button style just enabling custom style and button text color to white that's it and we can make this button to larger and we can make off this icon so if we don't want to keep this icon on hover we can keep it off and here is padding option for this button we can add some padding to left or right I'm adding 40 pixel left and right okay and save it now I'm going to save this form and exit visual builder now here is name email phone Skype and here is service so when we select web design we can see web design related item and when we select graphics design we can see here is logo design banner design all graphics design item we can apply this type of conditional logic with any item even we can set this kind of logic with name with any checkbox any radio item or anything else hope you understand the basic concept how we can do it and hope this tutorial will help you so if you would like to see my more upcoming videos give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you might not find my upcoming tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial